Hello everyone. This is how to never forget the Stafford and Lavelle Rebellion. Big roses are cultivating small ones. They're using some dodgy pesticide called Hutois. The big roses are the three ringleaders of the rebellion. The big white roses are Yorkists. They are Hutoying the small roses to grow them. They were trying to cultivate a Yorkist rebellion. This looks like a very bad sci-fi. A hen has been surrounded by white roses. How do roses trap a hen? Maybe they're using their horns to threaten it with tetanus. The hen's crown is on the head of a white rose. Could a human-sized rose support a metal crown? I reckon its stem would snap. It must be plastic. The rebellion's aim was to overthrow Henry and put a Yorkist on the throne. Some samurai helmets look like they have the letter V on them. That's a win for me. I get to draw samurai helmets. This one has a discount, 20% off. This man does not look happy. He ordered it online, but it's the wrong size. Remember, always try before you buy. A discounted V helmet represents Viscount. This looks like the offspring of a dog and a giraffe. Its name is L for obvious reasons. This warlord brings his dog L with him everywhere. He loves his pet L. This is how we get the name Lavelle. Viscount Lavelle was one of the ringleaders. It's Humpty Jim, but not as we know him. I should call this egg-shaped character Bad Omen. He looks like something from the first act of a horror film. You can picture the cliché. A group of young people are on a road trip. They go down a small creepy road. It's not on the map. They are lost. Then they encounter this fellow on the roadside. You know that in act two, the group size will be drastically reduced. This Humpty has frayed clothes. He is Humphrey. He is carrying a staff because he is Humphrey Stafford, another ringleader. You try to draw a wizard, but draw something that looks more like a kung fu master. I guess he could use the staff for both kung fuing and for wizarding. A multi-purpose staff. This cat is a tomcat. This is Thomas. He has a staff because he's Thomas Stafford brother of Humphrey Stafford. He's the third ringleader. Why is there a horseshoe on his staff? All will be revealed later. This is a hill of coal. On it is a treasure chest. Our three ringleaders are climbing up the pile of coal to hide in the chest. Not sure they will all fit in there. The chest is being guarded by a giant vampire bee. That sort of creature might attract too much unwanted attention to people trying to hide. We have coal, a chest, and a bee. This is Colchester Abbey. The three ringleaders hid there for eight months after Bosworth. This statue looks familiar. Ah, I know. It's the statue of Yorkity. It's in a place called York. She has a white rose torch and a book about white roses. York was a Yorkist stronghold. It's more or less in the name. On her shoulder, is Viscount Lavelle. He has brought a bag of seeds to throw on the white roses below. He should get a good spread on the throw from this height. Viscount Lavelle went to York to try and sow the seeds of rebellion. A bottle of Worcester sauce has a red rose in it. Is Worcester sauce good for roses? Mm, that's more self-administered internet homework for me alongside is acupuncture good for a cactus and can you shampoo a dandelion? The red rose means Worcester was a Lancastrian stronghold. The brothers are using their mystic staff powers to shake up the bottle of Worcester sauce. They went to Worcester to shake things up to start a rebellion. Will science ever create a snowman ram? Will it ever need to? I hope so. A snowman's shape looks like the number eight and a ram's horns look like the number six. This makes 86. Right in front of the dangerous charging snowman ram is a jester. He must like hospital food. A jester plays the fool, which people do on April the 1st. He represents April. The rebellion was in April 1486. Imagine the snowman ram bursting out through the doors of Colchester Abbey, ready for rebellion. The useless pesticide has been abandoned. It didn't work. The roses are still small. What has Hatois ever done for anyone anyway? 
The ringleaders are fleeing from a giant hen. The rebellion failed to cultivate any real support, and the three ringleaders had to flee when Henry came for them. An unintentional win! This spaceship emergency exit also looks like a space bounty hunter's helmet. Accidental bonus! He's not getting through that door with that helmet on. However, the pet has a chance. If he turns it upside down, he should be able to slot it through. Viscount Lavelle escaped. The ham is wearing sunglasses because it is cool, just like Fonzie from Happy Days. Yes, I am a sad man. This cool ham is on patrol with his giant vampire bee. The best imaginable way to patrol. Nobody argues with a giant vampire bee. Cool ham a bee. This is Cullum Abbey. He has found the two fugitives. The two Stafford brothers were caught in Cullum Abbey. Did Henry execute Humphrey Stafford? Well, here is Humphrey Dumpty Stafford. He is on top of a wall. I think you get the idea. Thomas Stafford, the Tomcat, is a cat. Cats have nine lives. Also, remember that lucky horseshoe on his staff? Thomas Stafford was luckier than his brother. He was only imprisoned. Here is Henry with a CCTV system. No, Henry VII didn't have CCTV. Use your common sense. However, he did have a good intelligence network. He learned about the rebellion very early on and was able to act very quickly. Here is a white rose wearing a lightweight crown. Next to it is a shrugging question mark. Ooh, that's a really good shrug. It must take years of consistent hard practice to reach that level. It's clearly French masterclass level. It represents that there was no clear Yorkist candidate to replace Henry VII with. These three tiny rebels are dwarfed by a unicron-sized hen. If only he could also transform into a giant egg. It looks like the rebels are about to proceed on their way to oblivion. They are not going to kick this chick off his throne. Lavelle and the Staffords were not significant nobles. They didn't command the money nor the number of people to really threaten Henry. You can see boats fleeing from these three. Some boats are so desperate to get away from them that they are flying away. And boats can't even fly. That's desperate. The boats represent overseas support. The rebellion received no overseas support. I remember as a kid receiving Christmas cards with a nauseating image of a kitten in a stocking. However, finally, this image can be used to do some good in this world. A lion with a broadsword represents a high threat. A lynx with nunchucks represents a moderate threat. A kitten in a Christmas stocking represents a low threat. It might scratch you a bit and that's it. The Stafford Lavelle Rebellion was a low threat to Henry. That's 19 images to help you remember the Stafford and Lavelle Rebellion. Thank you very much everyone. If you would like to, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. It is all greatly appreciated. And until next time, I'm Wacky Historian. Thanks for visiting.